Dylan here at BGR 2019 and I have stumbled upon something absolutely fantastic. We have a streetwear tent set up by this man right here beside me, Robbie. Robbie, what is going on here today? Um, so today we're at the beat yard and we have, I think, eight brands, eight brands popping up with us. So it's a different, like, it's a selection of different pop-ups from different brands from Dublin and Ireland. So most of the boys here are pretty local from Dublin. And then we have one brand that traveled all the way down from Derry. Uh, we're a group of different brands making variations of like streetwear clothing so like my stuff would be more like vintage graphic focused we have pavements gray which is more focused around kind of like a little bit more high fashion end of things and we kind of all are somewhere within that spectrum of brands so that's our thing sweet so you're the big coordinator behind all of this you put all these guys together in the one place how did you choose who you would bring and who you would invite to come and spend the day here with you at beat yard a lot of these guys now that we've been doing it for a while i know them a little bit um so originally everyone's been found either through word of mouth which is great or through instagram profiles like facebook connections um, i originally made a couple of facebook groups when i was about 16 and they got a little bit big and now I've met a few hundred people from those and the groups are probably in the thousands now. So that's a lot of the reasons I like found these guys and then if I like their stuff, I've gotten in touch with them, realized they're good guys and been like, hey, let's do something together, pop up with us, come on down and we'll do something. And what's your relationship with streetwear? How long have you kind of been interested in that area of fashion, um, specifically urban design and urban clothing? I've been into, it was sneakers for me first. So I got into sneakers when I was like 16, 15, I'm 21 now. So it slowly graduated out from just being like, oh, shoes are great, to being like, what do I wear with these sneakers? And uh, that ended up taking me down a whole path. When I reached college, it became much more about clothes. And then from liking clothes to realizing that I have like ideas about what I'd like to wear that I can execute myself. And then finding this whole community of people who are doing really similar things has kind of just kept bringing it further and further, so. What's your brand? Tell us a bit about you specifically and what you do with your whole enterprise. So my brand's called Emporium, named after the event, which was the first thing we did. Uh, it's myself, a couple of friends help with kind of like the direction we take and running the events. And then I have a co-designer called Charlie and me and him will pretty much mock up, like I'll give the direction for what we're gonna do. We'll mock it up together, throw drafts back and forth, run them by our friends and we'll end up with the finished product. Uh, we focus mostly on like vintage graphics, kind of 90s inspired stuff. So our current thing is gonna be collegiate collection. Obviously around back to college, it'll be fully dropping. We've done two tees first. And they're kind of focused around like what you'd expect your typical 90s American University student be wearing around campus and the different sports team merch that you'd see. So that's our current thing, but we've done different things like a Chanel bottle graphic was the first thing we ever made. Just slightly edited and placed on a t-shirt from a really old advert. So we kind of focus on that. And for those at home who wouldn't be interested in streetwear, if you were to describe a couple of people who maybe they might think of that would be wearing your clothes, like people that people at home would know who would be your main inspirations behind Emporium and what you're trying to do with the company and everything, who would they be? I'd more so have like, like bigger brand influences and that would be like, like older Stuzzy and anyone who's familiar with the brand Bape, kind of their earlier stuff. They're like two of the things we focus on. But it's really for like the, the college kid who's like wearing the straight fit jeans the baggy tees and like Nike Air Force Ones and 95s and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Like no one up high in the aspiration chart, but that kind of stuff, yeah. What's been the strangest, funniest, most bizarre interaction that you've had with either a customer or someone coming up and asking you questions today, apart from this interview? Okay, yesterday I had someone, we're making custom t-shirts on this heat press, and I had someone come up to me and I basically spent 25 minutes just explaining to them how heat presses work, how making t-shirts work, and all of that. And they seem really content just to hear about it. And like, I'm cool to talk about it, so it was probably like a 25 minute interview with some dude who has no interest in clothes talking about heat presses. Well, thank you very much, Robbie. We wish you all the best and more wholesome interactions like that for the rest of your weekend. Cool. If you guys want to watch more interviews and footage from this weekend at BR 2019, be sure to check out the DCU MPS channel or check out our social media accounts at DCU MPS, and we'll catch you in the next video.